go. Hey, this is Flash at the Dork Table on the 7th of June. Wait a minute. The 6th of July. Two zero July. One July. 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 Wow, their advertisement. And I have I have hostages and I'm not negotiating. You give me a five million dollars or I'm giving them back at two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, you guys. Hi, hi you guys. guys. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh I I think Mary volunteered to say the highs and the hellos. And thanks a lot, Grimner, for everything that you do out there behind all the computer shit. Much appreciated. Yay. Yes, for sure. Okay. Go on, Miss Mary. You want to do the hellos and the how are you? Hey there. Hi there. Ho there. What? I see. What? Is in the chat as well as special. Okay. Right Go up top, we have Barman, the most splendiferous bot in the whole go. wide world. Barman! Beetle! Beetle! Beetle. Juice. Is Pippi Pippi in your lap, Beetle? Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. No, they don't. (laughs) (laughs) You're Pippi and you know it. I don't know. I don't want to know. Don't don't make me know. (laughs) Don't make me know this, Mary. Stop. Okay. (laughs) Cowboy Tech! Yes, Cowboy Tech. Cowboy Tech says he always hears pleasant voices. I don't want that man to ever get his hearing changed. Good to see I, Cowboy Tech here. Yeah, I also see Grimner. The Grimner! Oh, you old yes. bastard. How the you doing? lovely Moose Girl. Moose Girl. Moosey. Some, we got some backward bracket DC going on as well. DC in the brackets. Yeah, and some ant eye. So, ant eyes, are they the little bitty things that have got, like, multifaceted shit, or are they on the antenna stuff? <laughs> no, it's oh, your uncle's Oh, Riley, eyes. how you Watch doing? You. Oh, oh, oh. Asmo. Asmo. What is Asmo? Mm, got an echo. As well. Just an echo. Yoo-hoo. I also Shut see Shut the here. fuck up. <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> 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 oh lord <laughs> i also see i be done i be done see you got a, a right below a asshole you got you i mean asmo yeah i said i'm here kind of sort of maybe well i didn't say the kind of sort of maybe but i said i'm here and then i started laughing asmo <laughs> The echoes on delay. <laughs> Grab Z. <laughs> Wait, let me. I want to do the next one. I, 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 I be, I be, I be, but that on C. Hey, you did that good. You almost sound like Obama. <laughs> Thank you. Grab Z. <laughs> See, and this I, is this is Mustaches better because we got some Java 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 Java, Java, Java Doctor Two going on in the house. Yeah, and some Meister Brower. Arizona a, Woody. 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 I don't know. You'll have to ask him. Woody. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't think I want to know. La, 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 la. I also see some Ponder Gander in here. He's over in the pond gandering at something, and I don't think I want to yes. know about that neither. Well, Thinking that's Goose. Inclusive look and think of me. It's uh, expressed in the many Vinnies that I be. Perspectives, not perspectives. Miss Kate. Oh, but it's, it's so much more fun to say that you've got all them personalities. Yes, personable. No, it's yes. not. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kate is here as well as Rob Works. Did he fire Rob up the bubbler? Works. Hi. Rob, I don't know Rob. that we need the bubbler, but it would be nice if you would did. Be nice. oh, I got to yeah. say real quick. You up, Rob no. He has gone. Hold on. Rob Works has gone to the most highest in my esteem for his willingness to uh, wipe the slate. And, and uh, yeah, that right there is an example of uh, what it would be like in a perfect world. I got my greatest respect for Rob. Whoa, Thanks, dude. Very Thanks. good. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Man hug. Okay. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> fist, uh-uh. fist bump. Okay. Back up. Okay. Uh, thank God it's not banjos. Um, <laughs> it's all out of tune in a <laughs> 
I see trust no one. Trust and now you no one. And just play it. <laughs> we, <laughs> also got... <laughs> we got the lovely Vanna White. Coming to turn the letter White. and the dorks because sometimes we need to be flipped over every once in a while. Vinny! <laughs> Vinny! Hey. Yes, the, the one and only. I've not come up with the alternative Nick in perspective today. Hmm. I, wow. I like to think that I will be a part of the hostage group that uh, frees ourselves. Sweet! Hey, we got a weather dork here, too, and weather dork just playing well. Weather dork, if you're in control of the weather, please decide weather what you're going to do dork. with my weather. Whether or not you want to do that, uh, I don't know. Uh, I fixed my weather yesterday. You did? Yes, I did. You know what? It's like washing your car. Uh, my well pump had gone out, and I had to get help pulling it out, and then I had to fix it, and then I had to get somebody to help me drop it back down. So that was done, and I, I'm back in the modern era of the uh, um, civilized. Indoor life. plumbing rocks. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, we got some woodmen going on. Woody. Here. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck woodman? <laughs> I'd see some Beth Z in the chat Beth as well. Z in the chat. And some Phantom. The <laughs> phantom. Help, help. Wow, the Phantom way. is here. There's yeah. a lot of people down, uh, down through there. Look at all the long <laughs> list. I know. Ooh. I know. We got a cycles. Hey, Cycles honey, how you doing? We love circle. Yes, we do. We love cycles. We got some cyborgian noodliness going Cyborg on. Cyborg well. noodle. Mm, yummy. Yeah. Mental and some pancakes. Dork cakes. Some dork cakes on the side of the cyborgian noodles. Yum. Somebody broke this next guy in line. Uh -oh. I know. Uh -oh. That flash. Uh oh. Uh -oh. uh oh. Hey, everybody. Uh oh, and we got a frumped and a frumpy. Frumped so a frump, and frump, frumpy. Or a frumpy frump. And a grommet. What the hell is a grommet? Is a grommet that little eye thingy that your shoelace goes through? No, Miss That's Mary. A, a grommet is a a rubber object you use uh, around a a pole. <laughs> yeah, you use it like uh, for your glad hands on uh, connecting your airlines. How glad hands? They have uh, I always, I know a guy named Happy Hands. Moving along. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> JJ's. JJ's. No, 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 JJ's. Nice. Hey, we got a what's going on. Moi, 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 bueno. Bueno. <laughs> Some pom 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 As well as sock sock, sock puppet. He's like a little sock monkey. Rewind. Start that over again. Sock monkey. Only he's a sock puppet. Special Ed is here. Yes. I'm very impressed. Is that special Ed? I, I, I always I, thought I, it was special. Like, you I, know, he I, was... I believe. Once upon a time, he was wandering along, and then a fairy came along and bunked him on the head. Now he's special. He's I, special. I, I truly believe Special Ed is the oh. child of the great <laughs> Donald Trump. Would you stop that voice? Yes, dear. It's so freaking so creepy. Oh, <laughs> oh, special quit. Gotcha. Spontaz is also yes, here, as well as, as rounding out the crew, the one, the only foot. What? what? We say that it. a lot. You say that a lot. Hey, before we start the show officially, can I do a joke? It's only a short joke, guys. Well, okay. you. you you will appreciate this joke when you have heard it, and it is entitled <clears throat> "Alaska Grizzly Bear Notice." In light of the rising frequency of human slash grizzly bear conflicts. The Alaska Department of Fish and Game is advising tourists, hikers, and fishermen to take extra precautions and keep alert for bears while traveling this summer. We advise that people wear noisy little bells on their clothing so as not to startle bears that are not expecting them. We also advise everyone to carry pepper spray with them in case of an encounter with a grizzly. 
it, it, it is also a good idea to watch out for fresh signs of bear activity. Outdoorsmen should recognize the difference between black bear and grizzly bear dung. Black bear dung is smaller and contains <laughs> lots of berries and squirrel fur. Grizzly bear dung has little bells in it and smells like pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, God. Uh, Good thing we didn't step in it. <laughs> there you go. So I, I'm going to post that little jewel on the uh, RLM feed. I'm just wondering. What? So when the bear, after it left that little, you know, sign so that you would know it was around. Yeah. I'm wondering, did it use a poke to wipe? But do you know how hard that was to read with a straight face? And I already read it. <laughs> And I didn't. Did I crack up? But no, I I held my composure. But that's a funny you joke. Did, you did good. It got me. Good. It, I would yeah. recommend bringing a friend that does not run as fast as you. <laughs> yeah, the, always got plenty of those around. Don't worry. Which way are you gonna run? Don't uh, away. Yeah, if you see me the running, you better run. Way. You better stay out of reach of me because I'll trip your ass. <laughs> 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 anyway, so here anyway. we are on a Doric table, the three of us all at the same time, gathered together under one I roof. I know, it's the Three Stooges. What the f... Okay, so what's on your mind this, Miss Mary, that you uh, wanted to stop by and visit us on Dork Table Podcast? Huh? 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 I don't know. I kind of sort of unloaded my mind last night. <laughs> I'm still kind of brain fried. I heard I your love show. That reading. Wow, well, well, I didn't so much. You sounded very authoritarian, and I don't know, your whole, ooh, it's frightened me to hear you. My <laughs> only contention is is uh, beliefs are beliefs, and, and what Flash was saying in an earlier broadcast I was listening to, I think it was one before the one I was just this one on, but anyways, um, yeah, you said basically, Flash, that uh, people believe that what they what they hear that sounds good to them and then kind of specialize in it in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that yeah. That's, that's what I do. I mean, yeah. I would assume and, we're all the same in the and, long run. And Mary in the last uh, show that was playing here at RLM kind of echoed that same sentiment in so many ways. Oh yeah. yeah but well, so authoritarian, Mary it carried in your, in your, you're so decided. It just carried in your voice and scared the shit out of me. I remember I when so you, decided? yeah, you were just so decided. You've made up your mind. You've crossed that threshold. You changed. I remember when I was trying to tell you to watch out for a certain coder, and you would tell, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. And you've changed uh -huh. from that, you know, that kind of innocent little girl to a grown-up, grown assassin, word assassin. <laughs> you're like, you're like the terminator of words. <laughs> What? I can kill any word. No, no, I'm that. I'm not saying it in a negative light. I'm just saying you sound so definite to me that it's scary. I'm not, wow. Because I remember when you just would talk and nobody would really pay attention. And you, you just wait. Like, eh. Now you're like a bear. You're the <laughs> you're the bear that shits out the little bits of uh, bells. It smells like pepper. <laughs> Yeah. So we was walking along. I oh, wait out. Hold on, what's that there laying on the ground? Yeah, Grammy's been sure. here. Run away! Run away! What if we all reach down there and feel that stuff? Well, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's it feel like. What does it smell like? Smells like pepper. Didn't Quit you, touching my did, shit. Didn't you listen to the joke? It smells like pepper. If it doesn't, it's got berries and squirrel fur in it. No, mine would smell like eucalyptus, too. <laughs> oh, Your bear shit would smell like eucalyptus. What are you feeding your bear? Wow. Anyway, anyway. so I, anyway. I was I was judging your uh, your information, dear. Don't judge. Well, I was I was kind of well, everybody judges. Everybody sure. Judges. And I thought it's just because I am a judge advocate witness. Thank you very oh, much. Yeah. But, you know, I think the truth will always be way more entertaining than any story you can come up with. And Zerk was here listening to me when I was yelling at the TV about, damn, Mary, what are you? You know, because I know you. Uh huh. 
And yeah. I'm not disagreeing with your point. I'm just saying it's changed from maybe, honey, please, to this is the fucking way it is. <laughs> and wow, what a, what a 180 that was. But I don't. Somebody said over in another channel, they said uh, hmm. uh, after being married so many years, it, it was like a, a shock to find out his wife thought that his life hacks were like uh, hobo methods or something like that. What he said, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, hobo hmm. methods. Well, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Lost hoboology me type of thing. You know, like hobo oh. things. Like, hey, let's do this like this, and we can fix this. And it was like a life hack. But, yeah. You know, yeah. You know what I get accused of? What's that? Not having any answers to world problems. Oh, I don't have answers. I do. But I do have an awful lot of questions, and I have no, an awful no. lot of things, and it's like, bam, this I, is what I think. I got three answers. Cover every topic you can possibly imagine. And you only have oh. to do one, and the other two fall right after the first one. Okay. What's up? Stop living in bullshit and lies. Changes your whole life, if you let it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, my adventures down at the local pub have, wow, they really shifted. I was trying to be American away from the crowd last night. You know, just mind my business, let them be Danish, and I'll sit here and be American. Mm -hmm. And four of them decided to move down to that side of the bar to talk to me about how American I am. <laughs> And, oh, and it was yeah, it was just fun to to interact with people. And one guy was so drunk. The other time I seen him, like the beginning of the week, I've been down there twice this week or three times. Anyway, I ran into this guy, but he was so drunk he didn't remember speaking to me until he saw my face clearly. And oh yeah, you're the American guy. So my ratings, Mary can my ratings in Freddy Town are up. Mary Sweet. can, Mary can, Mary can, hmm. Mary, Mary can, can is a Mary can. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but I didn't. And you know what? I didn't if come Mary here. can or Mary can't, Mary. That's what. That's what it is. I didn't Mexican, come here to so Mary can. to be all American all over these people. Hey, can't help it. Oh yes, you I know, can. I can spread my juice. There's, ju there's ju a farmer out here that's got a bunch of tires on fence posts. Hmm. And wow. um, um, he's got, you know, little sayings on each one of the tires. And on the last one, it says no can hunting. <laughs> no Africans, no Mexicans. Him, what does that mean? He said, yeah. no hunting Americans, Mexicans, Puerto yeah. Ricans. Africans. <laughs> Africans. Yep. Uh, hey, I got to know if oh. this has uh, drilled a hole in the bottom of the tire so they don't hold the water in their speeder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Think about that. Ooh. I would, Nasty. I would imagine so, because yeah. And I have tires in use that, uh, uh, and Moosey was talking about soil. Yeah, I had to scratch together topsoil to fill it, and then I bought a few bags. But anyways, yes, uh, tire gardens. Uh huh. Wow. I still need to take pictures for uh, for circle and flash. I'm not uh, drunk. I, special Ed says I'm drunk. Oh man, I'm just stoned. I'm drunk. Special Ed on the RLM chat. Oh, not as drunk as Flash. Yeah, I'm not drunk. Not now. You've never been drunk on the radio before, have you? Yeah, shit, yeah. I, I sat here and did shots with Mary doing the dork table for about six months. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, he was doing shots and, and poking on a doobie. And it's like, dude, that's <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm sorry. That, I didn't wait, think it was question, uncool. Question, serious question from uh, Mr. Grimnier. Mm -hmm. uh, or it's not a question. He's just making a statement. Doing the can-can. Can you do the can-can? Miss Actually, Mary. yes, I have done that. Uh oh, is that with your butt? Oh, the kicking your legs out thing. Not yeah, yeah and then shaking your ass, thing. right? Because we used, yeah, we used to do that. Um, um, you know, at county fairs, there was a gr a bunch of us that would go around and and do. Um, we did like a hour and a half show, comedy wow. kind of thing. And, Burlesque type. I'd like to see the video. Um. Uh, I used, you know, there used to be a video around here somewhere, but I don't know where it's at now. Um, but yeah, we used to, we did uh, a lot of Ray Stevens songs, did acted out the Ray Stevens songs, and did a few other fun things. And well, don't really be a tease. A You're gonna have to find it and post it. Don't be a tease like Moosey. She goes to the hippie fest oh. up there, uh, Rainbow Gathering, and doesn't even show boobies. Now, what <laughs> kind of person does that? 
Attention, Earth carbon based life forms. Attention, Earth carbon based life forms. This is the 420 report. <laughs> I, 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 that's, it is 420 uh, that's right yes smoke got him. 420 right here i got all choked up on that one damn <clears throat> yes sir that's good you're welcome okay so what what did i interrupt oh, thank I, you. i'm always thank you. Thank you very much. no wonder you guys no don't want to do the show with me because i'm always talking over you Always interrupting yeah, you, not letting you finish a sentence. What is wrong with me? Bastard. I must be broken. No, you're just a rude Jewy <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just jealous because you don't know how I do it. You're a Jubiner. If you could, a if you could figure out my tricks in life, you would never want to work again forever. You know, what, no, you know all you got to do, right? To live how I live is you have hey, to okay. trust life completely with everything and not pick around and go, well, with this, but not with that. You got to you know mental pancakes only has 12 tweets. What? What's wrong with that? Only 12 tweets. What is he that? He liked the tweet of our show announcement. Thank you, Mr. Mental Pancake, sir. What, what does that mean? Is he it means, no, he liked the tweet that I tweeted for retweeted from uh, RLM Barman of uh, announcing the broadcast. Ah, undergoing. our crazy crap today, Sweet. huh? Yeah. Oh, are are you uh back to work, Miss Mary, or what? Are you just doing the farming thing now? Uh, doing the farming thing and helping my uncle and helping my mom and Uncle Tommy. Uh huh. You have an okay. Uncle Jack. Do what? Do you have Uncle Jack? No, I do not. But, I do not help Uncle Jack off the donkey. Uh, yeah, but I've heard you mention <laughs> your Uncle Tommy before, so I was guessing that that was the uncle you were assisting. Actually, that's the only uncle I have left. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, that too, I forget about how, you know, I sometimes I forget how old I am. I don't have any. <laughs> yeah, well, Cirk is not very old. So I'm around I'm around a younger woman all the freaking time and it makes me not notice that hey grandpa <laughs> I don't even notice I'm grandpa till I go down to the bar and talk to 50 year olds like they're like they're kids Yeah and yeah I, well I got it it's weird how uh the balance of life for me how how life just kind of works out you know I go down to this bar because I like the place it's comfortable to be in. And it turns out the couple that own it are neighbors. They live about a mile from here. And the husband is an electrician. <laughs> and he was born in September. I mean, we got a lot of common interests. He's got a Harley. He loves his bike, likes to ride. Offered uh -huh. to let me ride his bike. And I had to tell him I don't have license. And, you know, be honest, that would kind of fuck him up if I would wreck it or fall. Couldn't replace it or fix it. Without the motorcycle, yeah. Without the state, you got to go by the rules, man. You or you get <laughs> fucked. So if I would have rode it and wrecked it or something, he would have been stuck for a bike. He'd have to sue me for it. So I just decided to tell him the truth up front. No, I don't have a license. And not only that, but I haven't ridden a bike since I was like 14. I gave it up. I rode trikes after that, but never a motorcycle again. Hmm. But well. You know, I don't argue my limitations in life. When something knocks me on my fucking ass, I take it as a warning sign. You suck at this. Don't do this. And <laughs> by following that little bit of logic through my life, the things that I thought were dangerous, I would avoid them. And here I am to support that. That works. There you go. There you go. Call it what you I like, know, I though. Have, you know? Yeah. I have learned you know, lessons like that, like, and sometimes it's not really pleasant because the ex kind of burned me on, on wanting to ride on a bike. So, yeah. Ouch. That doesn't sound very good. Hmm. <clears throat> well, last time we went for a ride, he dropped I did you? not realize he had had quite a few to drink. Oh, and no. I didn't have any eye protection and I had shorts on and, and I'm <sighs> one of those angry people. I want to have long pants and all this fun stuff. And... <clears throat> He decided to go out on the highway. 
and after I expressly told him, please, let, just around town. And then I found out, you know, once he parked the bike and I was pissed because I had shit in my eye and all this other fun stuff. And then I found out, oh, he'd been here most of the afternoon. He's pretty toasted. It's like, son of a bitch. Because he is real good at, at being able to be one of those drunks that you don't really notice they're drunk until too late. Ah. Kind of things. Whoa, the heartwarming stories that the Dork Table offers the listening public. You're welcome. Yeah, well. Yes, well, and I am so pleased that he is now, I think, six years now. Yeah. He's been clean and sober, so. Had, some people don't have the ability to say enough is enough, to. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I'm tiny, so it's real easy for me to, six beers and I've had enough beer. Fuck it. Any more than that, I'm, it's pointless. So, I pardon my way out of it. I'm, you know, I'm fine now. Trust me. Well, see, and I'm one of those people that if I'm going to have a beer, it's right before bedtime because it's going to put my ass to sleep. So, <laughs> just that simple. Vinny, you so, still got that still? Uh, no, we had to close it up. Oh, shit. Poor guy. Because I'll tell you, you know where the best liquor is that uh, shit they make in the freaking uh, in the South? Well, they consider like North Carolina the South in that whiskey kind of thing, I think. Or orange squeezings. Right? Anything below Virginia should be the South, I think. Anyway. Well, it kind of wiggles and wiggles. Well, how do you call it? Well, you say it, Tennessee down, uh, Tennessee, North Carolina down, South. Well. Basically. Depending on your terminology, I'll call them rednecks. But I, I believe right. there's as many rednecks in Ohio yeah. as there is in all of Texas. All right. Well, when I was in Knoxville, I drank some local shit called White Lightning. And I'm telling you, wow, holy shit, alcohol. <laughs> Teach you a lesson about alcohol. Pretty quick. That, so. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, you, do you recognize that kind of labeling from your whiskey drinking days there, Bosco? Well, I mean, there's been a few batches I've been a uh, partaker of. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a big moonshine drinker. You guys want that stuff? Uh, it could seriously uh, cripple you or blind you. <laughs> you guys want to do uh, a link? I do. I'm gonna paste it. Sure. I feel like reading a. I got I got a German thing going on up my butt right now. I can feel it. Co- oh, I hope I don't don't use uh, the facilities while we're on the air. I'm going to... No, I'm just joking around. Uh, I got a oh. Germany story. You know, make you about shit your pants is what I'm trying not to say. Is work, ah. Trying to work around it, but there was no way. It didn't, it didn't have a, another... But it's called Germany. Let me try. A shocking degree of self-censorship. And it was written by Judith Bergman from the 4th of July, 2019... And it even has this time, 5 p.m., and it's uh, got a link after it. And the story, you guys mind, or do you want to do some of it? No, go right ahead. Well, go ahead. I, I thought you, okay, well, because you just celebrated the 4th of July, okay? But I didn't. Well, or, well, well the states did, okay, but the yeah. country did, right? So uh-huh. you guys are functioning members of the United States right now. And I wanted you to hear what I, I read some of this myself earlier. So I wanted you to hear what I read so far so you can feel better than Germany. And it goes like this. There appears to be a significant gap between what Germans say in public and what they think. 57% of Germans say that it is getting on their nerves that they are increasingly being told what to say and how to behave. It makes a big difference whether citizens feel that they are increasingly being watched and evaluated. Many citizens miss being respected in the sense that they want their concerns and positions to be taken seriously, and that important developments are openly discussed. And that comes from a survey on self-censorship in Germany conducted by Institute for Domoscopy Allensback. <laughs> That's why <laughs> I don't learn German, people. 
That's why I don't <laughs> learn Danish. I barely freaking speak English. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can butcher any language. But did did you like that? I mean, how did that make you feel? <sighs> you know, I think that's just kind of a global dis-ease going on right now. There's, a, there's an awful yep. lot of people that self-censor. And then there's those of us in the chat that, you know, the only way we self-censor is we just don't get involved in that nonsense going on in there right now. So, but <clears throat> that's the easy thing about chat. You know, if you want to self-censor, you just don't say nothing. <laughs> Pretty much. But yep. what I meant was, I mean, did, you, did it strike you as similar to where you're at? Because it didn't strike me as that way here. I don't feel that government um, control crunch over information and knowledge and what you can do and not say in public and shit like that because they don't speak the language. But from the gist of them speaking English to me, there's very little. Just use common sense. Is you know don't don't get yourself into an argument over something stupid in a bar. There you go. And drunks do that anyway, yeah. so it's going to happen. But if you can stay ahead of that idea while you're drinking, and and I don't have to because I don't speak Danish. Everybody's freaking nice to me in English. I'm telling you. Well, yeah. It's a wonderful fucking life, and uh, they some of the time they kind of give me a little shit, you know, not not angrily, but you know, well, if you're going to live here, you should do this, and I say, yeah, but it's more fun to speak English with you guys, <laughs> and uh. We end up doing it. So, hmm. and I've told him, you know, I'm not here to make you American. I'm just here to have a couple of beers. If you want to chat, that's cool. If you don't, I'm fine. So everybody's understanding. I'm not holding them captive, so to speak. True. Like you guys are my hostages. Not really, because no. I can hang up. That's right. <laughs> well, let me let me read a couple more lines or so and see if it. It sparks one of you two to speak up and say something uh, about it. How's that? Hell, we go with this retreat from respect for free speech. So far, culminated in 218 with Germany's censorship law, which requires social media platforms to delete or block any alleged online criminal offenses. Such as defamation or incitement within 24 hours of receipt of a user complaint. If the platform fails to do so, the German government can fine them up to 50 million euros. People in Germany have been prosecuted for criticizing the government's migration policies. Dot, dot, dot. Does that sound familiar to you folks? Um, you know, I really don't have any of that out here in the boonies. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, you know, anytime, anytime you, you know who your master is when you find out who you can't criticize. <laughs> and who is it you can't criticize? There's two of them. And they're equal. They're partners. I criticize everybody. Well, it's the era. <laughs> okay, here, l let me sum it up for you, sweetheart. He's so say it's simple. Generic, you betcha, baby. That's all. That's all this is about. And one side props up the. They call it Islam, so that you don't think of Arab. But yeah, it's the same freaking game. Fifty years later, with a different title to it. No different. And the Jews are gonna hide behind this religious shit. That never it's fucking two happened. It's Abrahamic religions is what it is. You can't criticize two of them. So basically it's like having a family of three kids, and the one kid is always the one that gets kicked in the ass. Like right now it's the turn of the Christians to get kicked in the ass by uh, the other two Abrahamics. Exactly. All right, well, that was the point I was leading up to. You, you, you have a better uh, way of explaining it, I guess, than I do. I'm very Explain black and white. With, well... Because of the Jewish crap, you know, in my family, the little bit of that I saw. Ew. You should really redefine that, the, the blue-eyed devil stuff. How do you mean? Well, I mean, the so-called uh, Jews are not really Jews, though. 
No, well, right. Yeah, you already. I've talked about this. that and talked yeah, about that. That are. if you've listened to the show and I put up, yeah, you yeah, know, I, I I cover up, but no, I mean other, not you. I'm saying if anybody should listen to this show and has you, followed it you, anywhere, you, they you, they heard guys. me read about Gog and Magog and the uh, Magog. Yeah, that Magog thing. Magog. Whatever. Say it how God. you like. Magog. Okay, correct me, Vinny. You say maroon, I say moron. Moron. Uh, <laughs> I say moron. <laughs> what am I? What am I? Real? No, way more often you are on, more so even. <laughs> so, well, so what do you think about this being fined for typing something negative about the government on an internet site chat it makes perfect sense to me because you know how else can you set up complete control until you get people to agree to that thought, shit yeah even the thought of it how's it working so far uh well actually i guess it has worked on me because i find it uh, sometimes self-censorship i say there's no such thing as a bad question but then i also think that uh the timing and the place also could be subject to maybe uh, some censor. Oh, I can right. think of 50 questions that would just destroy somebody else just asking them. It wouldn't matter what the answer was. It was that I was so disgusting I could say something like that first and lay the groundwork for the possibility of that freak being as weird as I just accused him of being. So, no, it, it, there is such a thing as a bad question, Benny. To me, not to you, to me. Well, the question that can be set up badly, yes. And that's when you uh, would have to cipher through the whole thing. Because, uh, you know, uh, whoever asked the question first wins because it's a setup for the takedown, right? I believe that's the way the game is played, yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't play it. it, it but the, the way it's I still deal... not a bad question because hmm. then you can point out the error in the question. Now, I got myself into a lot of trouble by trying to be uh, – uh, whatever snarky a little bit there cheeky and mm. uh, saying that uh, I had garnered some respect for uh, MD louder the uh, FBI informant mm. uh, and I was trying to draw her out but you know I guess she's just a little smarter than I am but she has me blocked she even blocked Capitani Zani of all things huh. so I guess she does not fantango well hmm. see again fantango. If people aren't familiar with that particular song, they're never going to understand what you're raving about anyway. I hope they don't because I do not intend to explain myself to idiots. Oh, uh, well, okay. <laughs> okay, but now, see, that's kind of... Now, Mary said, uh, let me interrupt. Mary right. said uh, on her broadcast, was it the from last night or one that I was listening to, past cast, that, uh, yeah, well, what a waste of time because when you argue with an idiot, you're going to lose. <laughs> yeah. True. I think that was. Uh, yeah, it yeah. was. Uh, Arguing with an idiot, it's always a losing proposition. <laughs> Number one, they will outlast you. Yes. You know, and they will drag you down to their level, and then they will win with experience. So mm -hmm. yeah. that that's where Iggy, when you get tired and quit, they declare themselves the winner. That's yes. that's where Iggy comes in. Yeah. 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 Because That's why I, my favorite thing to say to people is either bless your heart, and yeah, take that however you want to, yeah. or if it comforts you to feel that way. Well, That's I find that word. the Iggy things gives gives me great comfort because other people know I've Iggyed somebody, and that person is still typing, and it's fun to watch other people tell the third party, "Hey, he's got you on Iggy. He can't read what you're writing." <laughs> <laughs> And then I sit here and laugh because my sick side is amused at the expense of another carbon-based life form. And I, as it, I, wait a minute, and I, I'm wait. admitting my fault because me and you debate this all the freaking time. And it, no matter how I feel about somebody's manners, like Chloe and her mouth, you know, her typing mouth, or uh, Hansel or anybody. Grimner, Rob Works, you, Mary. However, I feel about that does shouldn't in, it shouldn't weigh into the uh, whether you're here or not. Me and Vinny have had a big disagreement about that for a long time, and he's on the side that says freedom has got no boundaries, and I'm on the side that's starting to wonder. Well, if if you were right, we wouldn't be like living like this. 
freedom's got no external boundaries. The boundaries to freedom is all internal. The there true freedom and true boundaries are all internal. Well, and then it wouldn't be a matter of intending harm on you on the opposition to whatever you're doing. That's the key component that we lack. Borders, boundaries, borders. Some are self-imposed, and others you have to erect yourself. Good fences make good neighbors. And a virus does spread. I just pull that in there. So you have to stop that spreading of the virus or invasion, right? So whatever means that might uh, take, build your fence. Right, but see, people are are being persuaded by by MSM and TV and Internet and all these other advertising banks to participate in this uh, this freak show that public has become with its see and I think they're more influenced and they persuade themselves how do you mean well they get the input they get the information they see the repercussions of how their you know if they were to actually interact how their behavior would be taken mm. and so they persuade themselves not to get involved because they're oh, influenced yeah, 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 by yeah. all of the other fun stuff going on. And that that is a personal – and see, that's that's where I think everybody just needs to flat ass start taking a little bit of personal responsibility. And that is a massive, massive thing to do. No, it to isn't. Take responsibility for yourself. No, it isn't, Miss Mary. I disagree. I think it's just a decision you make. And then when life comes at you with the times where you need to be aware of that, you use it. This is how I survive here without speaking the language. Common, common sense and common decency goes a long, lot further than understanding people does. True. Because you know they True. see me as a weakling because I don't speak the language, but I read body language better than anybody. I'll give you an example. And, yeah. The bartender had a, a one, one of his moochie relatives come into the bar. And I watched this guy from the minute he walked in the bar, how he sauntered in and behaved a certain way. I went, oh, fucking trouble. But he didn't trust this kid enough to, the kid never got behind the bar. And I thought that was strange. So I watched him cross his arms and move his legs a certain direction as they were talking. And after he left, I I commented to Karsten about the boy. And he says, yeah, he's just one of my relatives, always got his hand out for something. How did you know? <laughs> yeah. So I told him because I could tell by the way the two of you behave. That's why speaking Danish isn't all that important to me. And it, it opened him up. And after that, he started um, being more open with me back. So. Well, spoken language adds to the confusion. I believe, yes, I believe that completely. Boy. When me and Cirque have a disagreement, it's always verbal. It's never, hey, you slapped my butt too hard. It's always something I said It's that pissed her off, not something I do doesn't really bother. It's the things that I talk about that irritate people. And then they're, sometimes they don't know how far I'm willing to take something. Am I joking or do I really mean it? Like the globe thing. You really can't, mm-hmm. if you see me in face-to-face, you wouldn't, you couldn't tell if I was playing you or not, just because I can. <laughs> you know, uh, I've no. been up in airplanes lots of times, ever since I was a little boy and flown with them. Yeah. You know, you, the horizon, you know, you see something new as you uh, approach it. You come. <clears throat> this, uh, excuse me, that, you've heard that one about, well, you could see across Chicago, the skyline. Uh, uh-huh. People people don't account for refraction of light, the uh, properties, the the atmospheres, uh, you know, bringing that light and over. It look like a see, straight line. I think that's one of those science things. Yeah. I, I yeah. personally think that's a, a load of bullshit. That they, only goes so far. They teach us a load of crap to stop you from pursuing the truth. Because if, if you have – oh, there you go. There's my phone. Um, Uh-oh. Da-da-da-da-da. Don't. I know. I was hey, we got to pay copyright fee on that or not? I mean, when no, you no. when you think about, they say you're kind of creepy. Okay, hey, look, Mr. Adams. I when, was talking to you, sir. Oh, I'm creepy, huh? Uh, creepy Joe. Yeah, I'm creepy Joe. Joe Biden, baby. Want to come over here and let me sniff you? 
See that whole you're refraction poking. thing, the way that loses weight with me. What? When you when you're you know, when you watch these videos of the people that are standing hmm. on the beach yeah. or on a pier or whatever yeah. and they say, Okay, we watch this boat go over the horizon. Okay. <laughs> And then they take their telephoto lens and they and can still see right it. Yeah. It. It's yeah. like refraction loses all of its shit when it comes to that. Because if you can still zoom in on that. No, no, bad no, boy, no, no. That's that's completely different than no. seeing the skylight skyline across the Great Lake. But yeah. when you're seeing that, your perception, your visual acuity mm. uh, of your eye has mm. lost it. It didn't see it go over the horizon. It disappeared to your optics available in uh, through your, your eyeball. Yeah, the extent yeah. of what, how far you can see. Yes, okay. I get that. Then I got I a question. The, but, the earth. Okay. You know, I'm in my way, in, yeah, on the end of my uh, science fiction book, the earth is flat. But, yeah, I, I do say the world is obviously globular. Okay, but what you, des what you just described made me think that you are, uh, are agreeing that it's of some kind of round shape. And yeah, the problem that we, we can't identify, blocking. well, and I'm let me finish, and we can't identify that because we're so small on it that we can't get to a point where you can get a visual look at it for uh, that would make sense. But then you they, know the highest mountains in the deepest oceans are, mm -hmm. uh, in, in relation would be like the uh, nipples in the uh, uh, on an orange. That's probably yeah. yeah. But uh, huh. so what are you as a little piss? See, right, exactly. On an orange, <laughs> and you'd never see anything but flat. Well, no. If you was a piss ant on an orange, you'd, you'd be gigantic. You'd be like a Godzilla of Oh, uh, would Tokyo. you? I don't. I, what kind of ant are you dealing? Wait a minute. Some kind of nuclear radiated In ant. In relation to size, if you was a like a toenail off an ant on an orange. And oh, you have ocean. okay. Well, see, one thing yeah, I don't. With all that perspective shit again but one yeah. thing i don't struggle with Vinny, is that uh the earth is huge whatever it is it's fucking huge there's lots of it goes on and on and on and on and on you if you started walking now you couldn't cover all of it on foot in a in a hundred lifetimes just, no you could no you could well not all of it you no could, you know footprint every piece yeah of it. But, there's but no how long no. does it take you to take one to walk the appalachian trail i mean oh, okay about two thousand miles and Ex some people will do it in six months right that's a long ways of foot right you know, we but have uh not everybody's you know, gonna walk every day for their whole i mean and never stop and do, you get nah that's goes against our nature i think some people are excessive like that you're you're probably an exception to that normality the part that i broke out of you know i got into the normality of marriage and a home and you know pets taking care of somebody and all that kind of I stuff i can sum it up sir in a song mm. round 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 i get around oh yeah that's you i i didn't you, really you want shameless, to Vinny. you shameless man you shame poor boy <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the link, Daniel yeah. Toth Nagy, I don't know, a candidate for the liberal Democrats in the UK, was suspended from the party for comments he made such as, there is no such thing as Islamophobia. And in response to a tweet, what about FGM, honor killings, forced marriage, forced marriage, what do you think about the protest of women in Iran, Saudi Arabia, and other Islamic countries against the compulsory hijab? What about Sharia in Britain, LGBT rights, and education denied by Muslims in Birmingham? Ah, fucking what if we know, you wow. know what? All of that stuff is isms. Yeah. It's a damn bit of it. It's all beliefs. But... Mm -hmm. And, you know, you want to believe what you want to believe, yeah. fine. That is your business. But right. once you start forcing it on someone else, there's, there is a mean <laughs> song. They use religion, but I would much rather put belief in there. You know, yeah. it's good to have beliefs. Yeah. Beliefs are like penises. You know, you can have your belief. You can be proud of your belief. But once you whip it out and you start waving it in my face uninvited, <laughs> we're going to have a problem. Wow, I, what if Mary. I'm just wearing a banana hammock? It just shows the impression. I mean, that's not actually whipping it out, right? 
we're still gonna have a problem if you whip it in the face and your body. Wow, you you dirty. Thank God you, there was no banjo. You dirty girls had boys. Uh, you know what? I know, but you know, all of these people, it's a belief system. It's mm. an ism. And that yeah, ism isn't doing a damn thing. All it is is just a belief, an idea, a concept, something yeah. that people follow. But it's the people, hmm. the individuals yeah. that take it upon themselves to act on that ism or that <gasps> belief. Really? Those are the ones that I have a problem with. I don't give a shit what ism you want to ascribe to. It's when hmm. you start acting on it and causing harm to another individual, that's when I have issues. Well, At no point in time ever should, re should religious, moral uh, turpitudes be regulated or uh, put into any type of law. And you know no, what I always say? Bring back dueling and crime will stop overnight. Well, I guarantee vote for me, flash somebody for president <laughs> in 2020. He has spoken. I'm going to run with my esteemed colleague over here, Circle. <laughs> she will well, be my... As long as you can run faster than Circle, because Shh. I think if you can't run faster than Circle, she'll trip your sorry ass and let the mob get you. Well, she's going to be my my at. vice president in charge of ICE. <laughs> I, I don't think she could pass up a deal like I'm prepared to make. So, I'll be needing some financial support out there, people. So, you know, send millions. It's very expensive to run for president. Yeah, it is. And, with, and yeah. <laughs> Poor. Sorry, mental. <laughs> I was just, I'm just dorking around today with uh, Vinny and Miss Mary and, we haven't done this in a long time, and we—the last thing we, I think, we do is really take all this too seriously. But I dang, you know what I mean by where where it it affects your freaking sleep or something like that. I couldn't imagine. I sleep good. Do you sleep good? I think you guys do, right? Oh, I sleep very well. This stuff doesn't. Yeah, see, this stuff doesn't affect us in some kind of physical way. Like it seems to do to other people that somebody that would be, uh, say, a voter like anti. He's a, he's a supporter of voting. I we, we understand that. I don't call him names and all that kind of shit. I just think voters are crazy. And that's the way I talk. So, but doesn't interfere with our getting along. It's not like it's a negative judgment call. This is my personal voice. And I, if you care about what I think then do what I say. And, and if you don't give a fuck what I think, then do what you're, you know, do what you can live with. But it should, like me and Vinny and you, it shouldn't ever involve the friendship. It should just involve the topic. There you yeah. go. And he was bragging. I got blamed for your crap, mister. Uh-oh, what I do you now? Better, you better fess up, sir. What, what, what I do? what I do? You just blown on that harmonica. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I was being a smart ass, Olean. Sorry, smart folks. Smart as who? I don't know. He was as <sighs> smart as Olean. Yeah, the guy that you invented know. Olio. Oh, well, no, it's Olio. Olio. That too. In I was close. Hey, you know where the most evil freaking corporation on, in, on the planet resides? What country it's, found, it, it's in? You won't believe it. Yeah, I tell you. Nope. You're close. Nope. Nah, not old it's enough. It's just it's below you by two countries. No, it's above formerly, us. The country formerly known as Holland. No, it's called Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah, the yeah. neutrality. And there's a, a corporation that's based out of there, right? And they claim to run the world, and they only make chocolate and clocks. So somebody's bullshitting somebody somewhere. And it's uh, seriously, yeah, clocks uh, rule everybody. Yeah, everybody yeah, bounce yeah. down to their freaking clock and chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate? I like chocolate. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> when you say it like that, it almost sounds pervy, Vinny. <laughs> well, <laughs> the things that you can do with chocolate, let me tell you. <laughs> Attention, carbon-based okay. life forms. Keep your pants on, your skirt down, and walk home in a group. 
Thank you. See you next week, everybody. (laughs) Do you know why women are better than men? Oh, yeah, I know 10 reasons. What? What? Do you know why women are better than men? What? Yeah. (laughs) Because they can run faster with their skirt up than men can with their pants down. (laughs) Yeah, I I thought you was going to say that men just don't listen. I had a neighbor Hmm. girl. That's why I said what? What? I had a neighbor girl (laughs) take advantage of that opportunity well, we're gonna have a pee on the wall contest <laughs> and, what, and, and she even volunteered to go first and then when it got to be my turn she says uh 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 no hands I'm like, oh, oh no <laughs> <laughs> so yep well, that's funny. My life story there, people. I'm telling you. Life. <laughs> life. Don't talk to me about life. <laughs> <laughs> now, I actually I have I have such a good life that people think I just brag about shit that's not true. But it's really a good life. I mean. Yeah. I've had that. People, uh, well, this one person in particular one time says, there's no way you could be old enough to do all the things yeah. you say you've done. And yep. I said, you know what? I ain't told the half of it. Yeah, exactly. Because 50 odd years goes by quickly when it's you. Yeah. But to Especially somebody. Especially when you're a gypsy, you know. But the, uh, the armchair quarterbacks of the world, they're so used to watching television. They they don't know reality from fiction. Wait, it's wait, wait. Beyond them. Walter, Walter's on. Hmm. Walter. Walter Cronkite. No, Walter Cronkite. Oh. He was doing his was Walter Cronkite. I was thinking about Cronk- the other day. Yeah. I was talking about him today. Oh. Because uh, I was telling the bartender friend that uh, I, I've you know, got people I talk to all over the world on the computer. And I was mentioning, yeah, we even got a Dutch guy from Holland. And, you know, and it went, ah. I've been around the world on uh, the computer. Yeah, absolutely. People. Miss V Thank down you. under is in Australia. Uh, I've talked to a few folks down under. And then Kelly was from New Zealand, but she lived in Scotland. So she'd been from one side of the world to the other. And uh, If you start out down there, it's not a question on who will take the high road or the low road. <laughs> the way you go to get to Scotland, you're going to drown. Yeah, you get it. But, and you got to go north in the airplane. You don't swim. Come on. But, uh, the, but the point is that Kelly had made it from one part of the planet to the other, bottom to the top. Mm-hmm. She's a real interesting woman. Well, she's gone now, but I've, I've had acquired a, a group of friends in a lifetime that if it, some of them were still alive, they'd, they could sit here and back up the tales that I tell from being there with me. And seeing how things yeah, went. I got some of that. I got friends that I've had lifelong. That uh, yeah, well, I've outlived a lot of them, Benny. And now, plus you know, being all this thousands you're of miles, old and ugly, and nobody <coughs> believes you, and your nose is big. Well, yeah, but I still got friends in America. Cause I've got friends in mm. low places. No, I've got. <laughs> I've got See, friends in America. See, <laughs> and there goes the penis again. If you're thinking out though, if you're thinking out that tiny little hole, you're going to get clogged. <laughs> just telling, just warning you, Vinny. Try the ears. Give the ears a chance; they might work. Because listening out that little I'm tiny. Dick hole. Uh, yeah. Unless it's as big as a dime because you drink a lot. <laughs> Give ears know. a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Give ears a chance. Wow. Hmm. Y'all are weird. Listen, one thing we will not do, and I've said before, we will yeah. not sing Kumbaya. No, we won't. Boy, wouldn't that be kind of sad if we did that? How about... No, stop. Oh, wow. Two two bonehead. Wow. Wait a minute. Who's the hostages here? Hey, wait. But I'm not the hostage. Wait a minute. Why am how did I become the hostage? Hey, <laughs> shut up before we put the tape back on your mouth. Huh? Hey, huh? untie me now, damn it. That's Let me go. 
Unhand me, sir. You, sir. <laughs> Miss Guy. <laughs> wow. That was fun. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Let's put let's put the tape on his hairy legs and back and peel it off. Ow! <laughs> hey! Wow, uh, Vinny's whoa, getting all freaking yeah. sadistic uh, on me we're here. We're in your basement. You didn't think we'd do things like this, did you? <laughs> 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 Wait until we go for the bikini wax. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have to call my wife to protect me from my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, they're attacking in pairs. Help, help. What do I do now? We'll Wait use apples and oranges too, sir. <laughs> hey, I got two pear trees that have got pears set on, so don't you be picking on my pears. In a pear tree. Mm. Yeah, and that joke that I told at the beginning of the show that made me laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Tit, tit, tit. So I rolled another doobie. Is anybody ready? Oh, yeah. Let me get my The top of the hour. Yes, sir. <clears throat> what Clear was it? Pat Benatar huh. hit me with your best shot. Yeah. You know, she was a trained freaking uh, operatic singer. Opera. Yeah. Uh huh. Did you ever see her? I seen her. She had long hair. And she wore a dress and she was all prim and proper looking. And then you see her get away from that and go into rock and roll. And she looks like some kind of whacked out drug addict. <laughs> Should we do the rodeo song? Yeah, my little sister actually went and saw her, and she said, oh, my God, Mary, and she dances just like you. And I said, yeah, I know. I taught her all my moves. Uh, both. You should have said both your moves. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I taught her everything I know. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't She wasn't a physically attractive kind of girl for what she was doing. It was more that freaking voice. Oh yeah. Yeah, the voice was great, but the the now nah, the presentation no. There was lots better presentation as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> but only one woman with that fucking voice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there you go. And I don't particularly like that music, but there's something about her voice that if I hear it I go wow. <laughs> so it's a, I guess it's all a matter of interpretation, like I'm always harping about. Interpretation. Interpretation. Well, you don't. You shouldn't nanny, have to ever. Nanny, you, nanny, wait, go cakes. You should never have Sing to def, the rodeo. to defend what you like. Do you know the like. words to the rodeo song? I'm no. interrupting you class. This is all. so fun. Now I see why. <laughs> you get on my nerves. Well, you're one ball man, and he's off to the rodeo. Oh, holy <laughs> What have we done? Oh, it's man. It's Alamon left and Alamon right. Dork on. Central. Right. <laughs> you are awesome. Stop. Stop now, girl. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. Can, get, up, get off stage, goddamn dudes. Get off. Piss no, me off. Nobody okay, can dork nerd. like you. Get on my nerves. <laughs> Eternal salvation or triple your money back, says Anti. That's I'll take right there. I'll take two, thank you. Oh, sweet! There goes Flash. Woo, he's so fast. Well, you know what really cracks me up about human nature? Okay, you gotta have one from Grammy. Yeah. Look, what? Oh, she's uh. a rocking in her rocking chair. Oh, she's sitting there in mental. her underwear. Mental is posted. Hey, by mental by pancakes. Wow. <laughs> uh. uh. Good old cakes. Dorky mm. with the dork. Dorky dork. Dork. You know what? I did not know Rob Halford was also a trained opera singer. I don't know who Rob oh. Halford is. Judas Priest. Who? Right? Are you cussing? Judas like, Priest, I'm, you I'm not sure. bonehead. Um, Do you think he was actually in the ministry? When he from Priest? Judas Priest, they're grim near. I believe oh. so. I, I may think be so. Wrong, but. What is it that the uh, legal singer to Disturbed, when he was going to do uh, Sounds of Silence, he actually had a voice coach for that song. Did he really? Yes. Yeah. You know what I didn't have? <clears throat> What's that? A record deal. I don't either. <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah, you know, what, a, you know what I'm not? Okay, I'm not. Strange Pains and Record Deals. Remember I, that one? I'm not a trained opera singer. 
But well, I could light a pipe with my with with one hand and talk on a microphone. Talk about success. Can you know, you? I could sing opera and people would try and run me over with the train. Is that along the same lines? Hey, Trains who's strangling the cat? Stop no it right now. <laughs> I seen her. She was strangling that poor cat. It was horrible. <laughs> la, 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 there they go again, strangling that poor cat. Help, help. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, what have Yahoo. we done? I have unleashed a what? monster. Oh, what, what is that? That's not opera. Is it? And no. do you do you guys realize I called today's program? I do everything I am told to do. Shut and, up! Shut up and, already! And only a few things I'm told not to. Really? <laughs> and then you guys just go all renegade on me on the show. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Take control. Just say, hey, we're going to do what we We're out of control. Do what we want. Go and screw yourself, sir. <laughs> we, are, we are releasing our inner dork. Are, are you folks upset with me for some reason I need to know about? <laughs> well, will this end up in litigation by any chance? Oh, okay. As long as it doesn't end up in admiralty court, we're good. No, we're just sharing. Because I can I sue Sharon, you. Sharon, Sharon. We could hmm? we could play the sue me sue you blues. <laughs> yeah, I bring a lawyer. You bring a lawyer, and the lawyers, they all lawyer. The lawyers do get out, and we sit back in lawn chairs with some adult beverages and a little bit of popcorn and maybe some pizza and. Watch them duke it out. That could be fun. No, nah, hey, bring bring back hey, dueling. That's a new like gladiator thing. Nah, bring get back lawyers together and let them battle it they out. They won't. Cool. No, they won't. They're a bunch of pussies. That's why it's I insist. The carrot of, of how much money they could win, and then when the you know when they finally whichever one does survive, go oh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, well, you guys are Americans, right? No, Mary, Mary is lately. Mary. I, I just want to bring something Mary up. Can. Lately, I've been seeing links on the Minds site, Minds.com, that mm-hmm. show old, you know, Donald Trump all schmoozing it up in North uh, Korea with uh, that weird Kim guy, Jong Un, Kim somebody, yeah, Jong Kim Jong Kim. Yeah. So wait, wait. Mm. What I don't know is this really freaking happening, or are these just people making links? How do you know what's no real and what it, what isn't anymore? I, you know what? Huh. I got, sir. Uh-uh. I got a picture of Melania's uh, boobies. Okay, but oh see, ah, here we go. Oh, did you lie? Yeah. Yeah, there you so go. You yeah, helper it is. Right? Melania Trump accidentally reveals nipples. Can you do oh, that? I mean, is that crying out loud. Yeah, oh, sure. Oh, you're talking nipples. Oh, I thought, you know, when you yeah. said Melania's boob, you were talking about Donald. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can look for yourself. Uh, Who doesn't like to look at boobies? I think even women would not look away. Oh, I know. It's the only it's, thing that he's got going for him. It's the culture. It's his wife's boobies. Hey, it's the American culture that is uh, treated that way about boobs. You know why people always look at boobies? Because that's the first thing that they <sighs> see when they're little. I'm, I'm tell- I mean, other than the doctor's face, which is scary as hell. So they're traumatized by a face, and when they see a booby and it feeds them, it's like, what no. we are. When, when I was first in England back in the 80s, they still had a thing in the newspaper called the Page 3 Girl. You know, it was a half-naked girl. Mm-hmm. They, you know, they didn't have uh, anything below the belly button, but they were exposed to the boob in the n- local daily newspaper. So their reaction to the boob isn't that of somebody that's deprived of looking at the boob. By not making it censor material, they just made it common. Therefore, eh, okay, so you got boobs. Eh, hey, wow, but, you know, no big deal about it. It's different. Can we, let's start a, I think uh, we could start a, uh, a website or what, a domain? What? Uh, www.boobe. Or what about www.mindyourownfuckingbusiness.com? 
and leave other people the fuck alone instead of making That's entirely too long of a link. But instead of make <laughs> okay, instead of making a group of so many people and causing all this drama that we could live without because you want to be a special group that needs special rights. See it's a it's a trap. It's what all this it? rights bullshit. Huh? Are you a boob? I could be. Why? You are what you eat. Well, not only that, Never but eat boobies. see, <laughs> Ma- Vinny might get on his high horse and think he's mentally superior and all that crap. <laughs> hey, hi, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny! Right? Huh. Riding Come, on Earth horse. to Vinny. Earth to Vinny. Come in, Vinny. Hello, hello. Yeah, well, you could get on your high horse and write about how smart you are if you My ever... My horse is not high, sir. Right? No, then you couldn't. What, you would never do that to people? Tell them how s- I'm smart. I'm smart. You don't know what you're talking about. Smart, I'm smart. Michael. I'm smart. Smart like you. Yeah, like that. Do you ever do that? Sometimes. You know what I tell people? What? Fuck you. That's what I tell yeah. people. Yeah. You know why? He's talking about smart people, and I see this thing here that my brother Joey just shared, and it says, "I think, therefore, I don't have much in common with a lot of people." Huh. Yeah. Okay. Moving along. Perfecto. Por you to see. Signore. Muy bueno. Ha ha. Ha ha yourself, sir. Fine. Be that way. How did you hit? How did? How did? How did? I did. Yeah. Okay. Exhale. Anyway, here we are. Back at the compound. What is perverse? Uh, it's like look in a mirror perverse? and ask that question perverse. again. No, no, no. No. Perverse. perverse. Break the word down. Per. Perverse. Perverse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just seen it being spelled, so yeah. I just wanted to know. Yeah. Perverse. You're supposed yes. to read it perverse. Right. Perverse. Right. But or then what the hell does it really mean? Okay. See, that's what I think. I'm convinced that somehow the English language has been manipulated through definition and change. Jeremy was talking about that last night. Over a it? long, <laughs> long time, right? So, mm-hmm. till, well, but here we got the internet. <laughs> per, for each. So. With units to express a rate. But how few people must use the internet to seek an answer out of the people that have it available to them? Just baffles First, me. Writing arranged with a metrical rhythm, typically having a rhyme. It doesn't say reason. Rhyme and reason shouldn't have well, it's a reason. Well, it's not supposed yet. to have a reason okay. other than it rhymes. Now, there's a video, uh, and it said basically without rhythm, there's no movement. But that's not true. You can have movement that's not rhythmatic. But I kind of put it back into perspective. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Without like what? Rhythm, there wait a is minute. no work. But Vinny, no. It, it, I don't agree with you on that one. Think, and th- think it through a little further. Say it, Everything that moves, it's vibrating already. So if you see it physically moving, there's a rhythm to it. You just not be might not be on the f- speed. To, no, like okay, let me wait. Tell you where you're wrong, sir. Hold oh, on. Right. Because we know there's improper mm. frequencies that counter that are counterintuitive to the proper vibrational r- uh, range that uh, them har- those harmonics are uh, beneficial, right? So oh, okay. So you're talking have, about the yeah, damage done anti- by doing it wrong, right? Huh? What? So are you talking about the damage done by purposely doing it wrong on the wrong frequency? Yeah, I'd say part of it. Though. Is that so, clever? Oh, see, that I paid attention to you, man. See? It's a- anti. Do I get an A on my report card, mister? Huh? huh? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you a B plus. Okay, I'll take it. Because plus. Hey, what the fuck? I don't really care. I just want I hey. I just wanted him to know that, you know, I paid enough attention over the time so I could identify what he was talking to talking about and break it down that quick. Kill. You know I've what? Been... You told a joke earlier. Can I tell one? Oh, please do. Miss Mary's if gonna tell us Holland. a joke. Yeah, yeah. If someone from Holland married a Filipino, would their kids be <laughs> Jalapenos? Jalapenos? <laughs> Uh, I guess so. Oh wow! <laughs> Only you would think of that. Wow. I'm sorry. Uh, jalapeno yeah. is jalapeno. not a pepper. Okay, so jalapeno, <laughs> jalapeno. No. Hey, 
do you remember uh um, don't make me go all hose b on stuff on you okay now I'll you whip it out i will yeah whatever now you I two will. are about my age give or take Vinny. and i would assume that the that you guys remember hard cover books i know mary talked about it on the radio and i would just say Vinny's read a book or two in his life a, a hard cover book or even a soft cover book right Vinny. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. But now, what do we got? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got tablets. Right. But we got people reading in shorthand on cell phones. Uh huh. So, all this knowledge that's available to the masses is only being taken in by the few. Yeah. There you go. Well, this is the game, how it's played, and how we're going to lose in it. Because there's more people that just don't give a flying shit about nothing else than what they're doing. <laughs> and what they're doing is what they're told. They just don't and seem I, to realize that. I really that. think that those that think that we're going to lose and those that think we're going to win are both right. Oh, yeah, sure. But it, it won't ha whatever it is won't happen the way we all get told it will. It'll be some out-of-pocket thing like always. Whoever saw 9/11 coming? Who saw J uh, John Kennedy getting uh -oh. shot in, a, in a, an assassination on TV? Nobody. We we never saw these things coming. They happened and shot the fuck out of us. So it made me wonder who planned them that way. Because <laughs> I'm a suspicious, uh, untrusting guy because of the way I see the society. Perhaps a perverse, as was said of. A person or their actions showing a deliberate or obstinate desire to behave in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable, <clears throat> often in spite of the consequences. Mm -hmm. Awkward, contrary, difficult, unreasonable, uncooperative, unhelpful, obstructive, mm -hmm. and continuing on with a long mm -hmm. list of troublesome, tiresome, annoying, and vexations. Are you disobedient, sir? No. Unmanageable? No. Uncontrollable? No. Recalcitrant. Shut up. I said no. Factory or rebellion. <laughs> what are you fucking questioning me for? What are you, some kind of cop? <laughs> I want to know. Your perversions. Yeah. It's a type of human behavior that does not deviate from that which is understood to be orthodox or normal. Although the term mm. perversion yeah. can refer to a variety of forms of deviation is most often used to describe sexual behaviors that are you deviant you abnormal reports. why thank you very much get away from that goat boy my wife will be so pleased to hear that that you're a deviant apparently this is what you're calling me on the radio you memes <laughs> you meanie heads Ooh, you being all mean calling me dirty names talking Ooh. about you calm oh. down oh okay boy <sighs> I'm frothing at the mouth here. Uh, uh, help, help. I'm being attacked. Help, help. Oh, my. You know what time it is? Is it? 20 hours. In two minutes. In a, yeah. In minutes. Hold yeah, on. I was going to say, you a little early. Are you premature? <laughs> Doc, not on purpose. Dr. Early. <laughs> no, not easily. We'll call him Vince Early. <laughs> Did I do that? Oh, you got your name all fucked with now. I'm going to fuck with your last name and rename do it, man, you every because week. Because that opens up a brand new list. That gets uh, in, uh, yeah, I just... Vinny, Vinny, so sir. You're not Vince Easily anymore. You're Vince Early until further notice. I'm always early, if we, except for when I'm late or on time. I don't know. Well, you, my philosophy is if you're on time, you're late. When you're available, you're you're pretty good about a clock. You you don't seem to keep me waiting for you. But when you're got like somebody's gonna drive you to go get food and shit, you're gonna take up that shit over the radio. So there you go. It's so, a long ways from here to there, sir. So uh, we do that we, we do that Pardon? in a perfect world on Tuesday, which turned out to be like seeing the day that you're gonna go to town. It would be in it on Tuesday. So I when when you never were available, I, I went to doing the show at eight in the morning in Denmark. It's like two o'clock in in uh, the East Coast. It's funny we'll, as hell. We'll, we'll fix that in the fall, sir. Or not? I it's up to you. It's yeah, just, I if do you, actually want to. I would like okay. to do a 
I'll uh, risk if it's not too much trouble for Grimner to re oh, put type a somebody, time kick, in. Kill that pig. Kill him. Kill no. Him. No, kill I ain't him. doing it. No. Do it. Do it. Oink, oink, oink. It's a flying duck pig. Thank you, Grimner. Oh, okay. Grim took it. Okay. I don't play those games. I, I would have done why. it, but I have it pre-typed in here to... It's 420 somewhere. And I'm thinking oh, I like this dickie back up. I already right did. I'm ahead. Of, I, see, I cheated. Now you're early, sir. That's because I, I cheated. I, I don't. It is. Bam. I'm right on time. Now what? Don't Say care. I'm, what? What is there? Some kind of punishment for being. Mr. Flash or, or what are you going to punish me because I started before you? What's the deal no, here, buddy? No. I'm not early. I was right on time. So I was early. Go back so easily. what? That's what I mean. Easy. What is the difference? What it's time? early flash. Uh, well, you're getting weird in your old age. Have you that been? That G13's pretty good stuff. Have you been taking your prescription Steve medication, up. sir? I don't take any. Do you want? You no, know, I have not been to a doctor in a great many years now. Yeah, I, I quit the doctor business. Right. Yeah. Because, like you were saying, yeah, uh, they only practice in what, and then they're defined by legality by somebody that also practices right so you're getting an opinion of an opinion and with no facts or anything relevant to what's going on so it's not a good judgment call stay yeah. away from you all that shit yeah you were well let me see did i find it over here this you would not i could i had a hard time following all this but hmm. you're talking about fluoride too and here Read this. I mean, it's like some devil speak in here, but they're really telling you a few things about uh, fluoride. Mm -hmm. The people that get it normally, and the, you know the how it dissipates from the body and stuff. That's a long read right there, and I'm gonna give you. Oh, one. okay. But yeah, but this is this is uh basically it's just trying to uh, uh, talk away the fact that fluoride's really bad for you, and you want to get into some stuff that's hard to read. And you need to do a lot of studying of scientific. Uh, terminology applied yeah oh hey do me a favor right with there, the notes hey 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 do me a favor with the notes tonight and give yeah. me a uh, give me a band uh, what do you call it a link that link that doesn't disappear so i could put it in the notes and have it in the the finished product what links to what to uh the donate button for grim's oh, rlm yeah, site Sure. Yeah, but we'll put at, you'll be after the show. I I need to have you send it to me so I can put it in the into the uh, notes. Okay, uh, I'll do that actually. Or I might now. be able to bring it up myself by getting the last page I wrote to Grimner. So I'm not sure yet if I need you to do anything. I'll get a good hard copy. Stay tuned. Okay, well, whatever we do, let's just make sure that his his uh, that? donate to the. There it is. RealLibertyMedia.com chat button is attached to a copy of the link Ugh. when you see it on the place you're looking at. <laughs> oh and my. if you're what? feeling generous, send Graham a few yeah. bucks so yeah. he can continue to run RealLibertyMedia.com. Thank you. For the price of a cup of coffee. Maybe. I'm telling you, whatever it is, I mean, Christ, just... You do what you can. I mean, you know, some people's contribution is using the site. Yeah, you know, depends There's on your. There's a few folks that that you all know because you're part of those folks that I speak of that are uh, the main contributors for the uh, servers ah, yeah. and all that. And so, what I've done and been doing since uh, the first of the year, and I've got month seven is, and it's so such a puny amount it's almost embarrassing. But uh, at the end of the year, it'll add up. So. That's why I'm not ashamed to say, but twenty dollars a month, uh, and being that you know, um, I feel like part of this is my home here, and this is you know I'm part of it, and it's part of me. So uh, I think uh, a, an obligation like that is uh, kind of yeah. There, well, then don't forget, some people don't have funds, whoever they may be. You know, like yeah, they don't have to. Yeah, this right. Is, this it's is not given. to guilt anyone yeah. that doesn't have to. You know, struggle worse by giving your money to Grim. No, 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 we're not that crazy. <laughs> we're, but we're, I mean, look, yeah. if you could even do yeah. like a dollar a month, sure, or a, a week, or five bucks. I yeah, mean, Some, um, whatever small it is. But still, if you're if you're on strings right now, don't let it bother you. Use the site for the things that'll help you get successful. See, 
If that's indeed uh, what you're looking for, because most of us are here for uh, answers to questions, I think. Yeah. Chance Grimner, to, is that link I posted good? Uh, you know, a chance to spew your own opinion out there and see if anybody else agrees with it. And most of us, we agree on levels of you know certain things. And on some things, we don't agree. But the friendship thing doesn't ever get involved in it anymore. We, me and you did for a bit. I got a little sensitive with you for yeah, a few and then I, I'm like, oh. no, man, whatever I need to do to fix that because you're my friend, right, you know, right, I'm but, a you know, forever friend, and but you can't break up with me. Well, yeah, but there's just some things that I'm fussy about what I listen to. It's like music, you know. If you're supposed to be my friend, there's a certain light you don't see me in, and if you do, and you're clowning. You need to stop doing that. It's not funny. I'm a clowner, man. That's yeah. what I do sometimes. Well, yeah, but I just let go of the whole fucking thing. I don't really care what you say at this point. Thank I'm beyond you. all that. It, it doesn't matter anymore. So that was the problem I had is it mattered. It was rubbing my ego or something and make me feel bad or something stupid. And I just said, I'll you know. Rubbing on well, creepy Uncle Vin. Okay, but I treated it. <laughs> I, I you know? I treated yeah. it how I Joe treat. Joe Biden lessons. No, just I treated that how I treat life. You know, if it's not comfortable, don't do it. And if if not doing it is the answer, then it'll stop. And if that's not the answer, you'll fix whatever was wrong. And that's how, like you and Rob, get along good. That's great. It's fuck. It was. Fu oh, it was. And let me tell you, fuckers, it was entertaining as shit when you weren't. It was like watching two two kids fight. You can't help it. I mean, I'm an old man. I'm going to get a giggle out of the kids fighting. But I'm glad you yeah. stopped. Okay. Uh-oh. I moved my mic away. I'll try that better. But, Beetle. see, that goes to show that people do learn at the RLM. You know, That's how you judge learning is. Not by your, oh, I can recite this and that. But it's how you get along with the other people involved. There's Sir. nothing wrong with fighting. Sir. You got to work through it. A, a, you know, a real fight that would be honest and fair Whoa. is uh, yeah, working through it, right? You you fight for a reason. Thank you. Well, right. so there's nothing wrong with fighting, but no, uh, no, no, there's no, a right no. fighting. Yeah, you come to a conclusion at the end of it. That's that's why I'm all about this dueling thing, right? I think that if Dueling was brought back to us as a form of solving your freaking social problems. The level of social problem would drop overnight. Things that were, words wouldn't bother anybody anymore all of a sudden because if you accuse somebody of hurting your feelings, they might want to shoot you in the fucking head for doing it. And uh, that might shut you up. After you see somebody go out there and shoot at another man over something he fucking said, hey, I don't want that happening to me. I'm Wait, we have that going on already. We do? Yeah. Wait oh, yeah. a minute. You don't see the news? No, I never, I have no. shot all the time because they open their mouth. About what? About anything. God, people are so easily butthurt. These ah, days. there it is. Thank you very much, Miss Grammy Mary said easily, and you have won today's prize. <laughs> ding, 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 Sweet. ding. It's the booby prize. Yeah. Oh, I already got two. She's going to slap you with her yes. boobies. Easily. Oh, Grimner said, Flash, as I mentioned many times, you have to use that link, not the link you get when you click it and view it in your browser. And I do apologize for my just horrible behavior on this computer. I don't know why I make all these errors. but I've got something for you, sir. You know, I do the best I can if that's any you know comfort to you. But I don't do anything on purpose to fuck up. <laughs> you look at the chat. Here's your punishment right here. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Ooh. Oh, five-ton truck. Oh, no. Squash. <laughs> that's not... That's a little more than prodding, sir. That's <laughs> way beyond what the oh go go good old creepy Uncle no, Joe. No, he do. just he just prodded him. It didn't say it run him over. Yeah, it did. It said oh, I that's got, a secret. A five he got ton rear ended. Flash <laughs> with a five ton <laughs> truck. Rear ended. Wow, Ooh, my career it. my career is over. <laughs> Damn, I'm ready to retire and I ain't even go anywhere. 
<laughs> Damn. Anyway. What a day. Are, Do what, you feel violated? No. And was mm-hmm. I supposed to? Yeah. What? Uh, no, that was my TV playing too loud, I think. I, I asked Cirque to turn it down. Because we got a dog and a cat, and me sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> it's it's mm-hmm. weird without something in the background beyond it. For me, I not for a, you. I heard a song about a dog and had a cat in it that was cool. Okay. You know that? I, I did what? Uh, a song and a deal and a and the cat was cool, but he never said a mumbling word. Grimner's got a boo boo on his feels. Kiss it. Then Dort, Kiss it. Dort Cake sent a wambulance. Says, wambulance on its way, little sissy boy. Uh, <laughs> God, that sounds like <laughs> people I hear on yeah, the, and the webs. Grim said, it is confusing, Flash. I get that. The link should be the damn link, but that's not how it works. Got so, okay. Well, but see, it, it doesn't really hurt to admit when you're not positive of something. I mean, when I think there's a chance I did something wrong, I go, hey, I think I might have fucked that up. And what that usually brings is I find out what I did wrong or that I didn't do anything. That's just the way things worked. Nobody's uh-huh. fault. It's the the fault lays on the, the service, not on the user. So that's kind of nice to be told once in a while that, no, you didn't fuck nothing up. This is just the way it happens. You're not stupid, okay? You're smart. You're smart, okay? <laughs> yeah, but Fredo it's got... A, it's a poo-poo happens kind of deal. Fredo gets shot in the freaking head and dumped in the, you know, in a lake. I don't want to be smart like that. That's not <laughs> what I'm... That's not the kind of smart I'm looking for. You're not a smart guy? I hope not. I, I kind of shy away from people that uh, behave in that fashion. If you want to know the truth, how I see it. The more the more Fredo you are, the less likely I really want to associate. I, I with like you. how Fredo. That's good. Yeah, good but you're, you're a weirdo, and you'd probably go ask Fredo if he wanted to go deer hunting. No, Alfredo sauce, man. <laughs> well, he's Fredo Corleone. You, listen here, redneck. I'm talking about Fredo Corleone from the the nefarious Corleone family of. Yeah, but he likes Alfredo's sauce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's an interesting link from uh, from uh, Goober there. Uh, a video shows mob shoplifting 30K of uh, merchandise from Wisconsin store sent out for Moosey. Yeah, the, the, uh, that, that's a concept that, you know, that mass numbers right there. So I've often thought, and I've never heard of it happening, is like there would be uh, like some of these big gangs, right? Organized crime uh, would like invade a small town, uh, knock all the banks off at one time, have uh, like position to f- uh, pi- uh, firepower to uh, take out the cops, blowing bridges and stuff like that. Um, right now, that, this is going. Oh, you're okay. You're projecting yeah, like that big MS uh, MS thirteen or whatever yeah. gang. You know, would like hit a. A small town. Okay, boom. great. You just put that out into the universe. When it happens, uh, it was already there. Yeah. There's so much negative out there. You can't. You can't positive your way out of this. This is sure so. You can. The it's, problem is oh, they don't man. ever put that in the news. Exactly. It's so imbalanced. Yeah, I wonder that they wouldn't, right? Right, Mary? That they wouldn't put that out there. They'd want to suppress that, not give anybody another idea. Yeah. Oh, but hell yeah. There's moms and kids that go movies. out and do all kinds of really cool things. You know, it's just like, well, my granddaughter was telling me when I had the grandkids. She yeah. said that that's one of those things that, that uh, she's – they're not cheerleaders because they dance at the games, whatever. What, she's, what, she's on the dance team for the high school. And she said their dance team and whatever sport is going on at that time get together – you know, every season and they go and they do things for the community. Like they go clean up parks or whatever. So it's like a mob of high school kids that all just get together and they just go clean a park or they go clean up house, you know, the yard for older people that can't do this stuff themselves. Things you you don't hear about very often. Yeah. Yeah. You don't ever hear about that. Random acts of kindness Kindness, as opposed to violence. Yeah. It's not popular to hear about that. People don't seem to, 
care much about it as a group. It doesn't sell as well as drama. Drama well, and problems. Well, everybody wants to go, ooh, look what's happening over there. Exactly. Right. Well, that's because that's how we're trained to behave. Give me reference there. You're going to have to give me a link, Grimner. But for the uh, SNL. Here, I, I'll give you a beginning. Start out. Let, let's you know. Let's plan to do a show together uh, in the future regarding links that we would recommend to uh, people that are just finding out what's going on in life. They don't even know. They they trip over a show like we're doing. And they go, hey, what's this crap? Let's hear it. And then they hear it and they find a, a link to the straw man. To find out what a straw man is. You know what link I would do? I would I would go to either BitChute or YouTube and go to the observation deck and tell people start at the beginning. Okay, this well, guy used to be a therapist. You want to do a show about it? If, are you available again for the dork table? I can be, but hmm. it's it's. Well, you yeah. let's plan that you will, and if something changes, well, we'll we'll have had our opportunity. We'll do it the next. I propose that we set a possible date for the possibility of a future date. Yeah, it might perhaps be whatever available. Whatever Saturday you're available next is the time we'll do it, but. We'll plan on it next week, and if it doesn't work, we'll do it the week after, and on and on. We, we In ad like item, I Saturday say unto you. This year. Mm -hmm. It'll be Saturday-ish. Yeah, Ish. like that, because we're, uh, <laughs> like, so important in the world. We yeah. are in the world of uh, words and stuff. We know shit. <laughs> and things and stuff like that. Uh, uh, oh, I've told you. I, blurb here. I have to hit uh, please. stop. I, uh, I'm open stop. about. Hubs, what? gyros. Uh-oh. I'm going to look at that later. Thank mm. you. Explanation. Hubs, gyros, dash. Cha, cha, cha. The, uh, you know, the, the thing. What do you say? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, ah. Are you on the juice? Uh, no. I think we need you more like cowbell. You like the juice. Mm. I like that one. Saturday Night Live. Uh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Christopher oh, fucking Walken. Hell, wait a minute. We'll have yeah. a walk in Wonderland. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Jane, you ignorant slut. Yeah, you know well, that's who. That's going way back. You know, I like. Whoa, stop it, Vinny. I like that Ferengi guy. Wow, stop. What was his stop. name? Quark. Stop. Hey, you're the, you're the bringing the Ferengi guy. Yeah, Quark. Mm. He was that man. If there was anybody else in the world, galaxy, universe, whatever hey, it would be, Ritz. if I had to pick, hey, we to got be, some rituals going on in the chat. I'd want to be Quark. He's loaded. He's got his own business, and his sex organs are on the top of his fucking head, and he can have somebody dangle with him and right there. Eh? Yeah. You're talking ears. We're yeah, talking huge. Ears. Yeah, uh, huge fucking ears. <laughs> Come dangle with Arl my said. ears. <laughs> yeah, Arl. <laughs> you can't lose as a Ferengi. <laughs> and then they don't allow their women to wear clothes. So they can't compete with the men in business. It's brilliant. What a way to live. What's this whole don't allowing shit? It's the Ferengi way. It's got nothing to do with me. I just want to well, join them. You can be as Ferengi as you want to be, you Ferengi. So what Dewey, I just, yeah. If, Dewey Beaner. So if Did I, you say free and gay? <laughs> 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 I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Vinny. That was a good play on words, so. <laughs> I got all choked up. Damn. You can follow there, Rich, if you've tuned in. Right there. The rituals so. is coming on. Right. Yeah. Listening to Radio. the, yeah, right. the last going on in the yeah. chat. The last twenty two minutes of this absolute train wreck that we're calling a dork table this week. <laughs> but a f a, you know what? It it's fun. So I'd rather be funny once in a I do enough serious stuff. I think have you heard you I don't know if you've got time to listen to me you do your own stuff. But I got programs on. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got programs. 
dude. Yeah, cause I'm impressed. You sounded shocked when you found out I do the in a perfect world at two o'clock in the morning when you're asleep. <laughs> well, it was like okay, well, <laughs> that little me that runs around and messes with the cobwebs and shit. Yeah. She was going, What what what? Wait a minute, yeah. <laughs> oh hey, that's morning time for him. Cool beans. Yeah. What? Yeah. what? <laughs> well, but you see, the good side of it is Grimner, the guy that does all the juggling and, you know, doing, he puts it on Twitter that I don't do. And he drops. He, 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 <laughs> yeah. What you're so he gets, he actually gets me a following through Twitter that people that catch the show and actually listen to it. I so, know, ain't it great? Yeah, well, I've heard a few of them, and some of them were, yeah. but a few of them are pretty good. <laughs> Every once in a while, I go, wow, did I say that? Like, uh, when I was reading my blogs, I was impressed with my own fucking writing. It's like, wow, I was a cocky little fuck when I, re- when I wrote that. <laughs> you know, but yeah, well. It's, it's fun. You know, everybody's yeah. got that. They let it out to play every once in a while. No big deal. Well, I miss the uh, world truth things when we, somebody used to start one and it would go on for a day or so have a 50 people say shit to it but those days oh, yeah. passed we we've evolved into this thing something's wrong i don't know what it is but the balance is not good and i see a lot of uh, i see a lot of writings that are inciting people to violence they're insisting on violence <laughs> to, yeah, that's to, not a good thing uh, you know uh, that whole inciting violence. Who in the hell makes the call on that shit? Me. I'm I'm reading it that way. That's what I'm saying. That's how I'm interpreting what I'm reading from some players on the internet. You know, everybody is, else, it's like the devil made me do it. The devil made me bullshit. You uh, did it. You're the one that freaking stepped up and did whatever it was you did. So don't be saying someone incited you. Yeah, but it doesn't work. Well, that. They gave you an excuse. Hal and I talked about that on those uh, the militia guys out there in, in Oregon. You that's know. what I was leading up to. Yeah. That's the idiots that want to, you know, they're how stupid are you? You want to call out people to kill people in the streets and stuff. Let's start a revolution. Civil war. No. Threatening people with battery acid. That's not all of those guys, though. Look, that's the idiots that they usually grab a hold Exactly, of. but well, here we go. But... See, Those the, are the excuses that the government needs to clamp yeah, down even see, more. Yeah. Why play their know. game by right. playing by their rules instead? Step away and go, okay, you know what? I'm going to have a revolution. I'm going to evolve past your ass. Well, you need some space to do that in, Mary. You can't do that crammed into a city with other people. That's the whole yeah, point. Yeah, because you got all of those vibrations yeah. surrounding you that are of a beyond. Nose. Yeah, beyond your com. You, most of us don't have the comprehension to know these things. They're not made available to the public. Well, I, I've got to put this in here. It's uh, BTWRLM three two four, and uh, go listen to Hal talk about that. Well, like you were correcting me about the vibrations of a. Uh, Something, something. I'm going yeah. off of. All right, but vibrations I'm, right. is is movement, but uh, is it work? So there's a difference. I'm going off a different kind of logic than you because my logic, yeah. whatever, however my thinking is guided. What what would you call that? Logic, reason. Bad rhythm, bad vibration moves you off work. Moves you it's off. It's counter. Work. It's anti. Yes. Yeah. Well, As I don't opposed to the rhythm. Well, what do you consider work? How are you using the work word? Work is that which is making good or mm. productive. Oh, okay. So yeah. there's good works, right? Intuitive. All right. Not, not, I'm not meaning that in all uh, action of yourself. Mm. You know, mm. like oh, I'm gonna do this because uh, uh, it's like pissing my pants in a dark suit and it makes me feel good <laughs> all over my <laughs> arm. Till you stick dinner. to the bench. <laughs> Fucking Vinny. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that one up, Vinny. I had no idea. Yeah, but that feels really, really good. That's yeah, the part I... I okay, let's go. Gone. Nobody Vinny likes that it warm is. and squishy feel. Wow, right. Mary's on it too now. <laughs> uh, the, the hostages have turned on me again in, in, in duet. <laughs> We're not on Spotify. I don't Boy, know. you two Vinny are. Vinny likes mushy, 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 mushy. Hey, do you, do you guys use BitChute? 
Uh huh. Okay. Do you use realliberty.org? Yes. yes. Okay, Vinny. When remember when me and you were uh, just chatting about getting people subscribed to YouTube, and we did it. We got however many people we got, but then we abandoned it, so it stagnates. Yeah, it's at 300 well, something. Like okay, that. well, what I want to do is try to put some attention on realliberty.org and, and uh, make it it's, similar. You know, well, we it's, have low subscribers on the on the bitch. And it Real needs Media. it's only like 30 or 50 or something. Like it that. needs a, thing well, it needs some maintenance to attract the people to use it. Yeah, so yeah, we that, got to do a, a blitz. Well, okay. Well, you want to get involved with me and try to. I've got time during the week, I guess. However long, what, two hours it could so take. So, what's your idea? I mean, you to, got uh, lines. I do have Twitter. have Grimner uh, have Grimner run us through how how to help him keep those two sites clean so they're operable, so they're easier to use. And, we, so wait a minute. We want to do uh, Blitzkrieg on. I don't know. Bit It'd be some kind of and RLO. It would be a huh? maintenance. Hey, maintenance. Um, yeah, you're or not listening you because no, I'm not hearing. the fucking site needs maintenance done to keep it up to date so it operates smoothly. And so who's gonna do that? Me, you butt nugget. How are you gonna do it? I'm gonna. You're, not, you're a tech tard like me. Because what Grimm, the hell, man? Grim's gonna you show. Can, what the hell? Because Grim's gonna oh show. Oh my god! You're I'll gonna tell kill him. You're going to kill him. No. Stop. <laughs> Don't do it, dude. No, see, Grim's going to show, show him, and Cirque's going to be watching behind Yeah, him. yeah. And when he yeah. goes to do something, Cirque will go, I don't think you want to do that. Mm -hmm. You're going to break it. Yeah, because she knows <laughs> she knows the computer better. But, yeah, that's how it's going to work. And then Don't we're, make me push no buttons. Grim and Cirque. I'll kill us all. Grim and Cirque <laughs> like to chitter-chatter, so I'm sure that if you wanted to get on the thing and explain it to her so she could show me easier. That would work out. Yeah, yeah you know, they she's got, got these three algorithms weeks. that are so much against us from Facebook and Twitter and all that crap. You know, it's oh like, yeah, uh, yeah. You know the difference between uh, pissing your pants in a dark suit <laughs> and pissing in the wind. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big yeah. difference. Yeah, well, a lot. Pissing wow. in the wind is a cold shower. Wow, um, wow. You guys what? are yeah. <laughs> you didn't hear her? No, I missed that. Oi. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I said pissing in the wind is a Polish shower. Yeah. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah, but you know. I don't think they really do that in Poland. Everybody's making saying. everybody's making fun of the strongest monster in the gang, Poland. They've always made fun of Poland for years and yeah. years. And Poland's, think, a, uh, Poland's a fucking stand-up bunch of strong-ass motherfuckers. Don't mess with right? Polacks. That's that's what I got of uh, Poland. Yeah. I, I seen a I seen a thing where right there's a they're in Germany, and they got this black guy and he stands in front of the guy's car so he can't drive it. So the guy gets out of the car and he comes and he punches the sucker in the face one time, knocks him out, and then gets back in his car. <laughs> it's like whoops. And but yeah. these are Polacks visiting Germany, so. <coughs> The black guy thought he was picking on Germans, and he wasn't. So the people that we make the fun of are the people that really, there's. it's all backwards. Yeah. All, it's yeah, all but backwards. Stop it's and think about it. They're the ones that are the badasses, if yeah. you will. Yeah. And so yeah. they're the ones that just kind of go, yeah, you want to make fun of me? Just jealous, jealous. But so, that's not, well, okay. What the hell? Okay, and then you have, see, so you have separate classes of people according to uh, education, finance, those yeah, kind of things. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Okay, well, these are the, the, the elements that we use to balance it so we can blame the negative shit on this is why it happens. And the reality of why all this shit happens is because <laughs> the delivery of all the freaking fuel to us is it's been perverted. Yeah, look at what and, and Germany went for Poland, and then Russia got it right, and okay. so they fought and struggled, and they came out. Who was that guy that uh, that solidarity? Uh, that the union Lech there. Left Luenza. Huh? Lech, Lech Luenza. Some yeah, it's hard Lewenza. to say. Yeah, Pol Polish people are pretty strong and powerful. Um, right. Our, our very own Beth. Yeah. Has connections to Poland and 
would be well, uh, her place to escape to. Well, out of out of the countries up this way, the only ones that are staying out of the immigration up to this point might change here, but was Poland's really strict on their immigration really? shit. Yeah, they didn't yeah. fuck. They wanted nothing to do fucking with it. And they weren't shy about it. See, you're in America. I'm a country away from. I got Germany and then Poland. So I'm closer to Poland to find out what's going on in Poland. You're right. close. What do you mean? No, I'm not. It's like me saying I'm an expert on. Uh, I said uh, no. You, you're. I didn't say expert. You moron. I said you I'm don't know closer. Because you live closer. You only know. I'm what gonna you hear information. Don't be ridiculous, huh? Vinny. I'm gonna hear about what's closest to me. From who? Bef- the freaking the world, Vinny. <laughs> what world? What world are you living in? <coughs> Mine. I think you've gone bonkers. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. I guess. Well, that ended Dude, that. Uh, Thanks for showing up, me, everybody. This, what? This is a, an what? appeal to authority, sir, and <laughs> it's not acceptable. What? No more than a red herring. Okay, what? Now you're does just it, confusing does me it with your... smell fishy? Yeah. What? Well, get your finger out of your freaking ass, and you won't have to worry about it. No, that smells shitty. Yeah, and it's a fun. <laughs> that was Flash, not me, Dirk. <laughs> get, get me in trouble again. Get you in trouble again. <laughs> Stop it, Flash. <clears throat> Flash, you, you terrible guy. Why are you doing this to me? Help, help. Flash won't stop because hurting my can. feelings. Ah. Yeah. Should should we all have a like a big cry for Vinny? Yeah. We'll all have a big Hansel. I'll go wipe my Hansel in honor of Vinny. <laughs> Is there anybody that wants to join me in a Hansel wiping? <laughs> in honor no, of His I'll Majesty say. the Great Vinny Easley. There you go. Slow down. What? Smoke on roadway. Yeah, I'm going to go Careful. wipe my Hansel in honor of your greatness, your greatness guy. <laughs> Who? You! <laughs> what do you mean? Vinny! I don't mean huh? anything. <laughs> it's the end of the show. Just fucking around. Why? What do you got? I noticed that. I'm going to go find me a traffic sign to obey. Thanks, dorks. Yeah, really. Like what? Sweet. Which one? Which sign do you like? How about stop? The one about getting stoned <laughs> and uh, being stoned. Rich, he says, what? no, whoever smokes first, just stoned. Oh. That's how you win. I don't want to get stone stoned. I want to smoke a spliff. Is that okay, Officer Vinny? Yeah, officer Easley. Can I? Uh, awesome. Oh, shit. Give him a fucking title and he goes all ape shit with it. Like some kind of fucking statist. I stay huh? all the time. Just goes to show you. I'm just telling can't, you so. You can't so. trust white people as far as you can throw a house. Ah. What? <laughs> See, you're not white uh-huh. enough to get the privilege card. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's that Jew shit, man. It always. You know. Oh, cool. It always fucks in me. Sweden. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, in Sweden. See? Yeah. If I didn't have you this nose. You know what nose. I did for Fourth of July? Uh, you blew I, your cat. Uh, yes, I cel- I celebrated my freedom and and by expressing it, mm. yes, I do what I like to do and cut all my hair off. But you didn't blow your cat, right? No. Okay. Yes. See, it's a symbolism of being free. <laughs> Grimner. <laughs> the, fle- the fleece of freedom. Yeah, I made a mm. I made a bad Hansel joke and even got Grimner on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what the what the world would be without a, a Hansel in it is a mystery that we have yet to experience. So, while we have one, <laughs> I treat it accordingly. I treat it how it behaves. There, there you have Loin it. Loin <laughs> from it. Loin it, from it. Just see, just like Loin. Silence of the Lambs. It puts the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> Is that right, precious? It's a house Ew. Again. Yeah. What? My precious. Well, he just sees yes. down the uh, what it, was that? The trader, the book. The auto trader? trader, auto, auto trader. trader. What? Yeah, the the magazine, what the auto, magazine? auto trader magazine. Auto trader. Joe Dirt, Joe Dirt. 
Joe Dirt. No idea. No, I didn't really get into that character. You've never. Oh man, that's the most awesome. Movie See, some kind of redneck yeah. guy. That, why would I be hey, interested? Hey. When did I go redneck? The fuck? Are you on drugs? I don't know how long were you out in the sun? Not ah. long enough to go redneck. <laughs> I, I don't wrangle sheep or yes, cows. Thank you, sit tractor sexy. I don't survive on cow shit for three days at a time. None of that. I'm a city boy, man. Give me my city, my city life, and all the shit that goes Survive. with it. That's what I understand. Well, that's what I know. I guess city slicker. Yeah, pretty much. I guess in a uh, <laughs> in a comfortable fashion. That boy don't know the difference between shit and Shinola. But I know the difference between <laughs> L.A. and Copenhagen. Well, yeah, it's kind of close, right? Uh, Copenhagen's uh, mm. dip. So you want to put that in your mouth. The other you don't. It's like the shit and Shinola. One you wipe on and the other and you wipe off and never put either in your mouth. There you oh. go. Well, the next time that I go to Copenhagen, uh, I'll go to Freetown and, and think of you Just guys. go. Sir, or, or unless you it. unless you come here and then I'll t I'll take you, but you know it's I'll not likely uh, you'll be you popping there. over here soon. Strawberry fields. I know, but who can afford to travel halfway across the world anymore? I remember yeah. when I could I could afford I, to do it. Stow away. And now it's like the prices of traveling are just ridiculous. They're beyond worth doing. So well, the prices of everything are getting freaking ridiculous. And why? It's because the money is getting more crappy, and more worth yeah, and less. Yeah. Well, which is why I think we need to just dispose of money. Period. I know that, but it won't it won't go over with the people that have money. See, it's not even no. about money. It's about controlling what other people do so that you yourself don't have to do what they have to do. Yeah, well, it's that belief in the little squiggles and colors on a piece of paper that it's the only thing that keeps it going. Okay, but there's folks on the internet webs, on links and in, in writing and in, and in uh, videos that are actually inciting violence. They want violence to resolve this, right? And the last show I did, I came up with an answer for this, people, if you guys want to think about it. To the hardcore 40 out there in... Uh, you know, bit shoot land that catch the program. Speak with your dollars, like Mary says. Go on, Mary, tell them. Oh wait, we're almost. Yeah. Are we almost over? You, Is that two hours? You yeah. Hit them? yeah, it looks like it. You want to hit shit. them where it hurts? Hit them in the pocket, because that's where it hurts. Because that's where all their. It would yep. take like organized, but if you tried to do it on Facebook, you'd probably get booted off Facebook. You know, to. But, you know, I don't like boycotts. I don't like this whole calling for boycotts. I don't like girl to me, cops. That, that, well, see how you are. Um, what's the difference between a boycott and a girl cop? Well, boycott is, you know, that it has a place for the kickstand. But, um. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> don't kick there. That's mean. <laughs> I call foul. Like, foul. <laughs> we won't have any of that. <laughs> no, nah, we're at the dork table. This is, this is. We love each other at the dork table. Yes, we do. Leave we, my we parking love you long time. Leave my parking parts time. alone, damn you, woman. <laughs> we love you long time. Oh Fruit no, circles. don't love me that way. Ah, help, help. Circles. Circles. So. Circles is going to do it for me because I told her, oh, Circles, would geez. you do that for me, please? And my, she said, slightly. My wife wouldn't hurt me for nothing. Don't give me that. No, she loved you long time. Yeah. Long, she's long. yeah. She's like the last person <laughs> in the world that's gonna do me any harm. It's circle. So I married her. Do me, Scooby. Hey, you mean to do the lineup? Well, if you don't mind, sir. All Go right. Well, hey, dorks and dorkettes, thanks for dorking along right here at the dork table. And tomorrow, come on along for some trivia. So do the opposite of dorking. Get smart. If fast fingers, play some trivia. We get started at about noon o'clock, and if you tune in a little bit earlier, Grimner's getting them fingers are going to get the blues a plan for your ears. Keep your fingers out of your ears and listen and play along. That's right, tomorrow. Followed by Mr. Hal Anthony from behind the woodshed. Noon o'clock on the left coast. Get on over here and find the notice in the news and what's not for use in me. It's bad, very bad. But find out how to resist the occupation. 
Monday, we've got Grim Leftovers. That's right. Mr. Grim near the great and mighty. The God of RLM, reallibertymedia.com, 7 p.m. Tuesday, Flash is off in some crazy place he calls a perfect world. All alone, <laughs> contrasting the occupation at 2 a.m. <laughs> in a mark on the East Coast. Uh, Followed by Miss Graham. Mary, right there. You've been seeing her or hearing her mm. right here with us today. Hey, Mary. Yes. And, hey. uh, no, no carbon tax, please, on Miss Grammy Mary's blast off in a rocket chair. It's 7 p.m. Wednesdays and Fridays. And in the middle, there's Flash again with 20% off. What a deal. Hey. What a deal. Ooh, 20%. You know, I don't know that my blast off is necessarily a blast off. It's more of a. Titty, titty, bang, bang. <laughs> wow. Help, help. My, my, co- my co hostages have escaped. Help, help. Hey, I, I've lost Jesus control. Oh, no. Friday. Grammy, hey, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, you 11 guys. 11 p.m. is uh, Grimner oh. and Moose Girl. And Oops. then back again on Saturday for another dork along spectacular. And thanks for yeah. coming, guys. Uh, thanks, y'all. Thanks, uh, thanks yeah. for uh, having such fun. Thanks, Grimner. Thanks, Grimmy and everybody else. See you in the funny papers. <laughs> <laughs>